Welcome to the GRC ERT Accreditation Management System Portal, also known as the AMS Portal. This video will show you how to add a new clinical setting and new clinical personnel using the Clinical Settings Change Request. To begin, go to the GRC ERT website by typing www.grcert.org into your browser. On the website homepage, click on the AMS Portal Login button at the top right of the screen. This will take you to the AMS Portal login screen. Type in your username and password, and then click on the Sign In button. You should now be looking at the AMS Portal landing page. You can always get back to this page by clicking on the JRC ERT logo at the top left of any screen. Under the Manage Clinical Settings tab, click on Clinical Settings Change Request. A table of clinical settings will appear. There are three different status types that may appear on the far right. Approved means the clinical setting has been approved. Draft means you are working on entering a new clinical setting but have not submitted it to the JRC ERT. And Submitted means you have submitted a clinical setting to the JRC ERT for approval but it has not been reviewed by JRC ERT staff. To add a new clinical setting, click on the New icon at the top right of the table. When the Clinical Settings form appears, type in all the requested information and click Save. The clinical setting is now created. Next, you must enter the required documentation and personnel. Click on the Documents tab. To enter the two required documents for the clinical setting, click on the Choose File button to the right of Affiliation Agreement. Next, locate the document on your computer or network and click on the file name. Next, click on the word Open at the bottom. When you click on Open, you will notice the file name you selected is now to the right of the Choose File button. Repeat the same steps for the accreditation documentation. When both files are present on the screen, click Save at the top. Next. Click on the Personnel tab to the right of the Documents tab. To enter the Department Administrator, click New. Enter the information for the Department Administrator, and then when you are finished, click Save and Close. To add a new Clinical Preceptor, click the New icon above the Clinical Preceptor table. When the Clinical Preceptor form appears, fill in all required fields. To enter the required documents for the Clinical Preceptor, click on the Choose File button to the right of Curriculum Vitae and locate the document on your computer or network. Repeat this step for the ART or MDCB registration or unrestricted state license. Please note that the degree and degree documentation are optional for clinical preceptors. When you are finished entering the new person, click Save and Close. The new clinical preceptor will be added to the table at the bottom of your screen. Repeat the above process to add any additional clinical preceptors. When you are finished adding all documents and personnel for the new clinical setting, click on the Summary tab to the right of the Personnel tab. The new clinical setting must now be submitted to the JRC ERT for approval. If there are any errors listed on this screen, you must correct those by clicking on the error message before you can submit. If there are no errors present, click on the Submit button. A confirmation pop-up window will appear asking if you are sure you want to submit the new setting to the JRC ERT. If you are ready to submit, 
click on the Submit button. You will then be returned to the list of the Clinical Settings page, and the new Clinical Settings status will be submitted. The JRC ERT will send you an email regarding your new Clinical Settings submission, and will also send an email to the Clinical Setting Department Administrator requesting their electronic signature. The JRC ERT will also be sending another email with an attached invoice for the new clinical setting fee. You can also submit any new clinical setting from this list of clinical settings. On the far right side of the screen, click on the drop down arrow next to any clinical setting that is in draft status and click on the submit button. If there are no errors present, the status of the clinical setting will be changed to submitted and will then be reviewed by JRC ERT staff. Thank you for viewing the AMS portal video, adding a new clinical setting. I hope this has been helpful in showing you how to add new clinical settings and personnel through the JRC ERT AMS portal. Please look for other videos to help you complete applications, submit reports, and make changes to your program and clinical settings.